Well, Sydney's northern beaches are one of the city's main draw cards, a world-renowned destination. But at what should be one of the busiest times of the year, the peninsula has gone from the fun coast to a ghost town. They didn't know it at the time, but this was Manly's final fling. Yeah, it's not a ghost town yet. Last night, then today. Barely a whisper in the usually boisterous surfside suburb. There was hardly a soul on the beach, only a few treading the promenade. Tables were empty and you could have fired a cannon down the Corso. The community, most importantly, will be doing their bit and that's what it's about, taking uh, your own control of your own self and doing the right thing and getting over this hump. Just a trickle of passengers aboard the ferry. The buses were ready and willing, but empty. The bee lines to Wynyard arriving half full. Only a few visitors left poking around. This couple from Penrith celebrating their 25 year marriage milestone. This morning we saw the news like it's that outbreak because of the COVID, and I was so shocked. Tomorrow yeah, morning family, we would so. go out now, yeah, so away, yeah. The only crowds were making the most of the early waves, but even the beach was soon shut down. To a New South Wales health recommendation, we are going to pull the flags down now. If you wouldn't mind if you started heading home. The council also closing skate parks, playgrounds, aquatic centres, libraries and outdoor gyms. We want to comply, we want to get on with this and we want to make sure that we get to see Christmas. The COVID scare has sent shivers through hotel managements with a flood of cancellations for the weeks ahead. For local eateries, Christmas suddenly seems bleak. But look, there is no one here now. Everything is cancelled. We're getting people already cancelling Christmas orders because uh, their families aren't coming in now to the northern beaches. And the period for me for the fish and chip crowd for Manly, it's, uh, it's going to be devastating. Heading up the peninsula, normally Warringah Mall is the mecca of Christmas shopping madness, but tame today with masks galore. Favourite watering holes like Harbord Diggers and Long Reef Golf Club needed no nudging, they closed the doors. And at the rugby ground in Warrywood, a pop-up COVID testing station. Some locals wanted to double dip on the trip, getting a test, then heading to the farmer's market. That was never going to last. There was people going from the testing clinic across to the uh, markets and getting some stock, if you like. Um, police were concerned about that and spoke to us and together with the markets have agreed to shut them down. At Avalon, ground zero of this breakout, there was little action in the cafes or clothing shops. The only thing flying off the shelves were the necessities. From the Spit Bridge here to Palm Beach, this shutdown has taken the gloss off the holiday season. It may only last for three days, but as we've seen with other clusters, it'll take a big effort to bounce back. But when you live on the northern beaches, it's perhaps a little easier to look on the bright side. Well, Tiff Genders is in Manly for us tonight. Tiff, there's a new directive about masks. Yeah, Mark, if people on the northern beaches don't have one of these, they're going to have to get one quick smart. Late this afternoon, health officials made the strong recommendation that masks be worn indoors for the next 72 hours. You don't have to wear it at home, but it will apply to places like shopping centres, uh, malls, healthcare and aged care facilities. Uh, and if people don't comply with the rules, it may have to be enforced. The better advice is to stay away from these places all together. Mark? Tiff, thank you. Well, Chris O'Keefe joins me in the studio now. Chris, if patient zero is found to be air crew, will the police go after them? Well, Mark, if they can prove that's what's happened, then yes, they will. Police today find 13 crew from South America who came into Sydney on the 5th of December. Now, they supposedly left their hotel near the airport and then went all down to the nearby pub at Mascot. And as a result, they've copped a $1,000 fine each. Now, luckily, None of them had COVID, but I'm told to expect a growing number of cases tomorrow on the northern beaches, most of which, Mark, will be around the Avalon area. All right, that's a shame. Chris, thank you.